After this, Jesus traveled in Galilee. He did not want to travel in Judea because the Jewish authorities there were wanting to kill him. The time for the festival of shelters was near, so Jesus' brothers said to him, leave this place and go to Judea so that your followers will see the things that you're doing. People don't hide what they're doing if they want to be well known. Since you are doing these things, let the whole world know about you. Not even his brothers believed in him. The right time for me has not yet come. Any time is right for you. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me, because I keep telling it that its ways are bad. You go on to the festival. I am not going to this festival, because the right time has not come for me. He said this, and then stayed on in Galilee. After his brothers had gone to the festival, Jesus also went. However, he did not go openly, but secretly. The Jewish authorities were looking for him at the festival. Where is he? they asked. There was much whispering about him in the crowd. He is a good man, some people said. No, others said. He fools the people. But no one talked about him openly because they were afraid of the Jewish authorities. The festival was nearly half over when Jesus went to the temple and began teaching. The Jewish authorities were greatly surprised. How does this man know so much when he's never been to school? What I teach is not my own teaching, but it comes from God who sent me. Whoever is willing to do what God wants will know whether what I teach comes from God or whether I speak on my own authority. Those who speak on their own authority are trying to gain glory for themselves. But he who wants glory for the one who sent him is honest, and there is nothing false in him. Moses gave you the law, didn't he? But not one of you obeys the law. Why are you trying to kill me? You have a demon in you. Who is trying to kill you? I performed one miracle. And you were all surprised. Moses ordered you to circumcise your sons. Although it was not Moses, but your ancestors who started it. And so you circumcise a boy on the Sabbath. If a boy is circumcised on the Sabbath so that Moses' law is not broken, why are you angry with me? Because I made a man completely well on the Sabbath. Stop judging by external standards and judge by true standards.